Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Laodong Sixth Wall. Today uh, we tell the stories of the three John in Sino-U.S. relations in Second World War. Uh, since the outbreak of the Second World War to Japan surrender, and from China's civil war to a John's withdrawal to Taiwan, uh, great upheavals took place in China and in its relations to uh, the United States. Uh, there had been three U.S. diplomats to China called China Hands, who observed and studied uh, China's situation and uncertainties, and made their report to the uh, U.S. government. Yet uh, they were disregarded and uh, dismissed, resulting in a fiasco in uh, for U.S. foreign policy to China. In 1949, and uh, Kuomintang government lost uh, the mainland China, and America. Uh, argued who made it. They, uh, these diplomats uh, became victims. Even if they were faithful to American interests, committed to their jobs, yet uh, suspected as uh, communist sympathizers and forced to resign or being fired. And the three among the victims uh, were all named John. And they were John Patton Davis, and John Stewart Service, and John uh, Carter Vincent. Uh, this session is about them three. First is uh, John Patton Davis. John Davis was born in China's uh, Sichuan province in April 1908, uh, of a family of U.S. Uh, missionary. He uh, graduated from uh, Columbus University in 1933, and worked as a U.S. Consul in Kunming and Second Secretary uh, in the Embassy. During the Second World War, he was the political attache and uh, liaison to General Joseph Stavell and helped in Dick's mission in 1944, uh, initiated the first official contact between U.S. government and the Chinese Communists. After General Stavell left, uh, he served for General Albert uh, Cody Whitmer and General Patrick Harley. And General Harley uh, soon became U.S. Uh, ambassador to China until uh, replaced by uh, Lighton Stewart in September 1945. Harley insisted China's reunification under Jiang Jieshi, yet John Davis believed that China's civil war and uh, was inevitable and the nationalist government uh, would surely lose to the communists due to its corruption and uh, its uh, incompetence. He uh, suggested to keep contact with the uh, communists to avoid Soviet over influences to China. He argued with uh, Harley and uh, left China in January 1945. Then uh, Davis was assigned to Moscow as a first secretary of U.S. Embassy and then worked uh, in Germany and uh, Peru. He was regarded as a communist sympathizer, and nine loyalty investigations underwent against him, yet nothing wrong uh, was found. In November 1954, U.S. State Secretary John Dulles asked Davis to quit, uh, but it was denied. So he just fired him uh, with the excuse of lack of analysis, discretion, and uh, liability. In the decade of uh, 1954 to 1964, uh, John Davis stayed in Peru and uh, ran some uh, furniture business. And two of his uh, interior designs also had a win international price. Since 1964, uh, he returned to America and appealed his case to U.S. Supreme Court. And in 1969, he was exonerated from uh, innocence. He passed away in North Carolina in December 1999. And then John uh, Stewart Service. Uh, John Service uh, had a similar background uh, with John Davis, born in Chengdu, uh, Sichuan, in August 1999, and also of a family of uh, the American uh, missionary. Uh, he spoke very fluent Chinese. At the age of uh, 12, his family moved to Shanghai and returned to America at the age of 15, 
After graduation from the University of California in 1933, he worked as a U.S. Foreign Service in China. In July 1944, as a first group member of the Dixon Mission uh, to Yan'an, he met with uh, Chinese Communist leaders uh, like Chairman Mao, uh, Zhou Enlai, for uh, many times. Based on his uh, communication uh, with Yan'an, he believed that Chinese Communists were generally rooted from China and uh, rather than the uh, affiliate or uh, client of the Soviets. Yet if America failed in handling it properly, uh, they might lean to the Soviets. He suggested the U.S. government uh, share some China assistance to the communists and keep uh, contact with them just in case Jiang lost in a civil war and America should be ready for it. And in April uh, 1945, Jiang's service uh, was recalled and arrested for uh, espionage by FBI. He was released soon uh, due to lack of uh, evidence. Later, he was assigned to work in Japan under General MacArthur, and then to New Zealand and to India. Anyhow, he was uh, charged suspicious, even though he was uh, clear in the following uh, four investigations. In 1951, U.S. State Secretary uh, Dean Edson fired him and John's service uh, appealed. In June 1957, the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court vindicated him and uh, he could return to the State Department. A State Secretary Douglas first assigned him uh, some routine job uh, as for transportation, and then to uh, Germany and to Liverpool, England, without any duty specified. A few years later, uh, John's service and chose to resign and worked as a librarian and uh, editor in University of Berkeley, California, since 1962. After Sino-U.S. Uh, elevation in 1971, and he visited China for four times and met Chinese uh, Premier Zhou Enlai. The State Secretary Henry Kissinger uh, talked with him twice and asked for advice on China policy. In February 1999, he passed away in California. Then the third, the John Carter Vincent. Uh, John Vincent was born in uh, Kansas in August uh, 1900. He uh, graduated from Mercer University in Georgia in 1923 and worked at the U.S. Council in many cities of China, uh, such as uh, Changsha, Hankou, uh, Shantou, Beijing, Shenyang. Uh, Nanjing and Dalian. Uh, based on his memoir, in 1934, uh, in a dinner uh, hosted by a uh, Japanese uh, military in Dalian, he saw on a map that Japan marked all uh, the targets from uh, Manchuria uh, to the Yellow River, from which he could tell uh, Japan's further uh, military actions. He uh, suggested uh, to the U.S. government that more assistance to China against the Japanese Otherwise, uh, America uh, would be the next target. In 1943, John Vinson worked as U.S. Uh, State Department Chief of China Affairs and then as Director of uh, Forest Affairs, similar to today's State Department uh, Under Secretary. After the Second World War, he helped General Marshall in mediating China's civil war. In 1947 to 1951, he was assigned as a U.S. envoy to Switzerland and a minister to Morocco uh, from 1951 uh, to 1953. And he had stayed in China for long and knew China very well. In his observation, he saw uh, Jiang's nationalist bad government for it failed in securing uh, its people of safety and uh, freedom. He criticized uh, John's selfishness, corruption, and incapability. For many of his military assistance not used in the war against the Japanese, but in the civil war against the communists. He believed that Chinese communists uh, would win, and America's China policy should copy its way as to the title of uh, Yugoslavia uh, to make a wedge between uh, China and the Soviets. 
uh, Joseph Mekasi uh, claimed him uh, as a communist and put him as number two in the blacklist of the 81 members of the State Department. In 1952, when he worked as minister to Morocco, he uh, was recalled by U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee for a week-long loyalty investigation. In 1953, John Dulles replaced Atchison as the State Secretary, and he talked with Vincent. I know you have no issue in clearance, yet right now you are not suitable for the job in the State Department. You can choose to resign with your annual pension of $6,200, or you have to be fired. Atchison defended for him, and he said to Dulles, that Vincent uh, had worked for six state secretaries and well done on all his positions. He's uh, trustworthy and not problem. Dulles didn't like himself in trouble. Uh, he still let uh, Vincent go. After resignation, uh, Vincent lived in Oxford, uh, Massachusetts, and occasionally joined some uh, research work in Harvard East Asia Studies, and also finished his book, the extraterritorial system in China, last phase. Uh, with Sino-U.S. relations warmed up, and Chinese Premier Zhou invited him to visit China in 1971. Uh, yet his uh, health uh, had, uh, had worsened, unable to go abroad. He passed away in December 1972. In looking back at history, and you can see today the similar clashes and uncertainties still linger, in Sino-U.S. relations. Uh, the tragedy of the past should not repeat. For the lessons learned tell us uh, more realism better uh, than mechanism, and uh, conflict should be under control and uh, work together is always uh, the best choice. This session we uh, talk about the three John uh, in Sino-U.S. relations and the next session uh, we uh, will tell the stories of the three S. Looking forward to seeing you next time.